Hey friends and fellow stackers, this is Eric and welcome back. Well, I promised in my last video that I had a work bonus coming up and I was going to make another substantial purchase of silver and gold. Well, as you can see before you, this doesn't look too substantial. Change of plans and a coworker of mine actually got together and we decided we were going to split the cost 50-50 and uh, buy a whole cow from a farmer we know and uh, have that butchered up and uh, put all that roasts and steaks and ground beef and stack the freezer. Uh, thought that was a more prudent financial move, so that's the direction we've gone. So that was a good chunk of my bonus put in that direction, so not a whole lot left for silver and gold stacking. But nonetheless, you get a little jingle jangle in your pocket and you still got to make a little purchase here or there just to keep the uh, scratch the itch. Uh, so just so happened, and I've mentioned this uh, several years over now, there's a small uh, coin club uh, in my community. When I say small, we're not necessarily full-on rural, but a small community. So when we have a, a coin show, it's it's we're talking the size of half of a school gymnasium at that. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, that, that event actually took place just yesterday. Uh, and here's a few pickups I got. Uh, first time ever, I took my son Benjamin, a little five-year-old, uh, trying to get him into the hobby and, and, and getting interested in coins and stacking. Uh, so he had a blast taking a look at things. And, and one of these items he picked out himself. And that happens to be this coin right here. And we'll take a look. And I already misspoke. This is technically not a coin. It's a medallion or a, or a metal, if you will. It's not a from a U.S. Mint or a government mint. Um, but this is a 1 Troy ounce 99 fine silver round or metal. Uh, celebrating the 25-year anniversary uh, of Walt Disney and Disney World uh, from 1996. Uh, just something interesting. Obviously, he being a young man, he, he knows Disney movies and cartoons, so that tickled his fancy, and so that's something this is we got for my son. So this is my son's uh, coin or round, however you want to call it. Um, does come with a, a little certificate of authenticity. And it comes in that little clamshell. Um, but this is from, uh, again, not the U.S. Mint, but the Liberty Mint. It's a little private mint. But just something that he picked out, just getting him into the into the hobby. Uh, so that was his big thing. Um, before we get into this, the other thing I picked up uh, was this. And this is a uh, $10 face value roll of 90% constitutional quarters. We've all seen these, nothing too exciting about that, but I didn't want to go and just get uh, odds and ends and, and, and numismatic type things, so that at least justified going and getting a little something for the stack, so uh, again, this being a local kind of rural community that we're in, these coin shows are not too extravagant, in fact, I noticed uh Participation was a little slow this year, and you know, it could be the weather, could be prices, could be people uh, scheduled elsewhere. But uh, normally, there's about all oh, 20 vendors would be a good showing at this particular coin show. Uh, this year, there were seven or eight, so noticeably uh, emptier than in pa past years, but just the same. Uh, so I paid 20 times face for this uh, whole roll. Which, if you do the math, puts it at about $3 and some change per ounce over spot, which is not great. Um, but it was one of those, uh, you want to support the people that come, that put on the show and attend the show. And uh, if you always go and never buy anything, they're not going to come back. Uh, and it also, you know, justified again, uh, putting something towards the stack. Uh, another seven and some odd ounces in constitutional towards my goal uh so that's that um and that, that'll get put into the uh little silver chest that i got accumulating and adding uh but to the bigger item and this is something that i saw and thought was quite interesting uh last time i made a joke that i finally bought myself a silver buffalo and uh just to see if i like the generic design and might switch to buying a generic buffalo silver rounds to save myself the premium on the uh, American Eagle for just for purely stacking purposes. But 
this time we do in fact have a silver buffalo and that's what I'm going to show you here today and again this I picked up from one of the dealers at the show this is from the actual United States Mint and I'll take it out and show you a quicker or a better look here but that is from 2001 um, that is the only year that this coin was minted by the United States Mint um, so it's not exactly rare per se um, but it's certainly not made anymore and that's why I decided when I saw this that it was worth uh, picking up uh, so you'll notice right off the bat uh, it says the United States of America and God we trust and most notably it says one dollar um, this is an actual United States Mint struck silver dollar um, it's made in 90 percent silver so like all other uh, silver dollars it has 0.7734 I believe or 7743 whatever it is uh, ounces of actual silver with the balance being copper um, but this is struck in proof condition um, and again my, my camera may or may not be accurately showing how nice that strike is and there is some smudging marks on the uh, capsule that itself um, I'm not sure um, just kind of a thought that came to me uh, after having this and looking at it and looking it up online whether I'm going to just keep it in its clamshell and just put it away because it's kind of cool to have or if it might be worth sending off to PCGS and uh, seeing about maybe getting it graded because I do know that 69 and certainly uh, Proof 70 and Decam uh, examples uh, the, the value that they can command significantly increases uh, as you get to uh, getting into grading and certainly at the higher level grades downside being if sh this should grade as a I don't know 67 or something then that might be just a complete waste uh, but there you go I finally got myself a silver buffalo and uh, I like it uh, these are kind of hard to come by um, I've, I've known about these I've seen these online um, but this one I uh, happened to see in person at the coin show and decided uh, for the price he was offering and we, and we haggled uh, had to come home and go in my collection so not a stacking piece by any stretch of the imagination uh, but to show you the paperwork and I, I looked this up online um, you can pause and read this if you feel so uh, interested in doing so but essentially these were uh, uh, established to be struck in 2000 I believe was as says the coin, Buffalo Coin Act of 2000 there uh, but they're actually struck in 2001 uh, they're limited to 500,000 pieces uh, was the maximum allowable mintage but I looked up online and a few sources kind of all agreed uh, known examples between uh, there you see a minage limit of all options there they did a BU and then they did proof this is a the one I have here is a proof Philadelphia mint um, but all the mints and all, all the uh, different strikes that they made BU proof and otherwise uh, was a total of 227,000 in few odd number so uh, not quite a quarter million um, so I don't know necessarily how rare this is but certainly I found it interesting and uh, the collector side of me thought it was worth coming home so it's it's now part of my collection certainly not a stacking item um, but yeah and, and my son picked out a few more other things and of course he got a few freebie you know pennies and and, and you know actual buffalo nickels and you know all, all, all the old timers like to see a young kid getting into it so he got some some free handouts but really just stuff to keep him interested or entertained it's not really anything of particular value certainly not stacking uh, I did notice too uh, this this coin show is a lot of collectible graded rare numismatic type items um, there really wasn't anybody strictly selling bullion and nobody had any gold not that I would have maybe if the price was right but gold being super high but nonetheless uh, that's what I was able to pick up. Um, I might still make an online order, but we'll see uh, um, what's left of my, my work bonus after I pay for my half of that uh, that beef cow. Um, but that's the bigger thing, and that, that, that'll keep me and my family fed for 
pretty much the rest of this summer and into fall uh, putting that into the freezer so there you go about eight ounces of actual silver and a uh, nice numismatic piece added to the collection that's where we're at uh, thank you for stopping by hope you've enjoyed